So episode nine is already in the books, and man, Glock, yo, Glock got it. I swear, I swear, Glock got it, cause it's like he comes in at the end at the at the hotel where they were staying at. Yo, you'll find me. It's just his presence alone. I don't know. He, the man, got something, but it's kind of crazy too because. They shooting at meat, so trying to find meat, so they shooting, and they bad shots, and then Glock gets popped in the back, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, he gets popped in the back, and then, you know, meat makes his grand escape, and then that's when, you know, they take, like, the weight, because I guess Loco was on the phone in the beginning, where he was telling, like, um, meat to, I guess, get the weight from the port, and then that's when they drive it back to Atlanta, so they drive it back to Atlanta, but then Remy gives up, I guess, like, you know, tip the red dogs, like, hey, um, there's gonna be some people's coming in, because Misha was trying to figure out, like, how did they know, but then you see, like, um, you know, the red dogs is basically saying that, well, um, we don't know y'all, but we know, we, we, you, you know, we don't know y'all, but we kind of know, right, so it was just like, they basically take all the weight, and they take it to the pound, so I'm just like, oh, man, you see Winslow, you see that nigga Winslow, there. I was just like, yeah, man, he's, he, he, he gonna be causing some trouble, so he's gonna be causing some trouble, so they basically take the weight, right, and that's when Meech is trying to, like, figure out some things, like, ah, man, like, who told this and that or whatever, so, I mean, the big showdown is gonna be in episode 10 anyway, where it's gonna be, um, you know, Meech versus Remy, or, yeah, not, a, well, okay, yeah, like, Meech versus Remy, and also, probably, maybe one of Remy's guys actually betraying, um, you know, Remy, because they're gonna be like, well, we like the Claws ideal of, you know, everybody working together, instead of just, Remy, like, no, Meech is an outsider, we should just take him out, and, you know, basically, take him out, take his weight, and then we in control of things, but I'm just like, eh, that's not gonna happen. Now, going over to what Brian did to, I guess, Tyson last week when he beat him down, and... He, th it was kind of crazy because I thought he just beat him down in the alley, but turns out he beat him in the alley, but it was outside of like um T's uh uh restaurant to like Terry's to, like restaurant. So I was just like, oh, okay. I, I was like, I was you know kind of surprised there because Blaze and and the um you know Blaze and his brother was at the um uh the spot I should say. <laughs> I can't even think of it. I had a freaking brain fart. I can't even think of it. But basically, they was there to review the body of of Tyson, and that's when, you know, Henry shows up, and she's just like, oh, like, what happened? And and then that's when he's like, no, I'm going to handle it or whatever. And he's just like, this is like kind of like retaliation of what you did to, you know, Terry's guy or whatever. So that's when you see also at the end where Henry shoots Hoop. So she's like, yeah, tell Terry that. So he got, Hoop got shot. Cause I mean, in this season, there's been like a lot of deaths and a, and a slow and uh, close calls, I should say. But I don't know. Everybody sort of likes hoop. I kind of like hoop, so I'm like, I don't think hoop might die. I don't know. I think he just might take a a bullet to the gut, and then he might be alive. I don't know. I don't think he's gonna die. If he does, then sure. But I don't know. I don't think hoop might. I don't know. I don't know. Right. But <laughs> um, now, now. Brian is really smart for what he did because he's trying to, like, you know, get, you know, Henry versus, like, Terry in the whole war on, you know, BMF and her and her crew. And then you see, like, Jen, like, she puts, like, the tracking device. Oh, sorry, not tracking device. Listening device in her cane. Now, I was, like, the the scene where, like, Jen and, and Henry was, was, like, I mean, I get that because I guess when you a cop or undercover cop, that does happen where you sleep with the enemy or, or you sleep with enemies to try to like get close to um in your field as a job as being an undercover i get that but i was just like i don't know i felt a little like squeamish because i was like henry though i felt a little squeamish i was like i don't know i don't know right but it's all for the grand scheme of things to try to like um get bmf and henry but i'm thinking what probably might happen i'm thinking maybe like i think they might probably bring down henry because the thing is, it was like Brian and, and Jim, they was talking about, I guess, going to talk to, I guess, Kobe's dad, who's, I, I think, a counselor, I think, to try to see if they can figure a way of, like, taking down, like, you know, Henry and potentially, like, BMF as well. But, I don't know, I feel like they might get close to the job. Because the thing is, I think it's still too early in the season for them to have, like, any sort of, like, law enforcement to, like, really look at um BMF. I think it's still too early because... 
like if you go back into like the future of like 2007 when Brian had like a new partner and then that's when he was able to like arrest um Terry, right? Again, all of that's that's going to play up to like what's going to happen in the future, but it's still too early and too soon for any sort of like investigation to like look when they actually have like um real people to like come after to uh BMF like obviously Brian and then I think I forgot his name. I think he was he was special agent Wolf or or something, but I know he was also on the force, the task force to bring in like BMF and, and some other um top feds that was also there as well so again it's still too soon and too early for all of that to like take place so i'm thinking they're not going to get close again or take it down like bmf or whatever brian is still just going to be pissed about it like they keep getting away with this until eventually he probably will get his big break and all so that's eventually going to happen and marquisha i'm sick of her yo i'm sick of marquisha gang i'm sick of her because i'm like <laughs> I was like, she's there, and Terry obviously brought Marquisha along because he's thinking that she's going to be sleeping with Vince, right? I mean, the way she was giving off this whole, at the time when it was like Vince and, and Terry like going after each other, but then last week she was just like, well, she chose Terry over Vince, but I'm like, I don't like her. I don't like her because she's talking about some, oh, on vacation or whatever, and I'm like, vacation? This, this man's on business. And then he was like, you know, they get into like a spat or whatever. I'm like, all right, I'm sick of Marquisha, man. I'm, I'm sick of her. She need to go somewhere. I'm sick of her. And then Angel saves Meech again. And she was just like trying to like give him some warnings about what Glock did. Because after when last week when, when um, Meech threw out, um, threw one of Glock's guys out the window. Right? I think T'Chaka, I think that's his name is. I think it's T'Chaka. <laughs> Sound like freaking, um... Um, thank you from Marvel. Like I always forget these things. It sounds like oh, uh, thank you from Marvel, but you know she gives him the warning and this and that or whatever. So I was just like, all right, all right. You know, my brain was kind of like turning blind eye to like Angel. It was just that scene when he was at the beach. I was like, wow, okay, damn. <laughs> I was just cause I, I never said anything until now, but I was just like Angel. I was like, okay, wow. But <laughs> but um, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just you know. I like what they do. I like what they're doing with the story. I like what they're, you know, doing with our characters. Again, I do like Glock's presence. Like, his aura. Like, he got it. Like, out of everybody, like, Remy, eh, I, I don't really get that aura from Remy. Remy's just, to me, like a regular guy. But Glock? I don't know. Glock got it. I don't know. But then we got Charles and Lucia, who's had this whole up and down roller coaster for marriage slash divorce. Because... Lucia's like, uh, I kind of like the, Maurice the doctor, and Charles is like, but I'm going on tour, can I, can you come with me, and she's like, eh, I don't know, but then, I guess she finally told Charles at the end, she was just like, listen, I think I'm in love with Maurice, and, uh, you, you, you gotta go, so Charles is just like, alright, man, I, I gotta go, but overall, this episode was good, it was nothing bad, I enjoyed every minute of it. I can't wait for episode 10, though, because episode 10 is going to be really crazy. Because Henry, I wonder if Henry's actually going to find the, the tracking device in the cane, though. I keep saying tracking device. Listing device. I wonder if she's going to find, like, the listing device in the cane, though, and be like, hold up. I never put this here. Who, who the fuck? And then she probably like, oh, you, because I still believe Jen might actually die. I still think Jen might die, right? And so that way, because you're, you're furthering Brian's story even more. He lost his son. Then he's going to lose his partner. Right? It's only going to further the story even more for Brian. So I think Jen might actually die. Something might happen to Jen where she probably might die. Right? Or I could be wrong and she probably might not die and she might survive. But I don't know. I think she might. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But overall, it's pretty good. Freaking Glock's the man. Can't wait for episode 10. Oh, also, 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 before we get out of here. um, So Francois. Or I think I'm saying his name right. Francois? Yeah, Francois. Francois. So basically, he they was able to get the whole car situation uh, situated, and um, you know they got the whole. Cause again, this is all playing into what actually happens in real life, where they actually got these customized cars, and he was able to you know put like whatever in there, like drugs, money, guns, whatever, right? And they actually got that established, and then we're gonna get to see more of that. Now again. They don't get found out until, like, way later. Like, the feds, Red Dogs, I don't... Because the Red Dogs, I don't think in episode 10, they're not going to find anything. I doubt it. I think they're not going to find anything. But I'm thinking probably, like, in the future, 
Yeah, I think that actually happened. Yeah, like in the future, um, they get found out like these special cars is holding like drugs and guns in here or whatever. So no, I think this is gonna happen like way later. So I don't think it's gonna actually happen now. Again, all of this stuff that is predating the future is too soon. So we just gonna have to like wait a, a lot further into they get to like the important bits of the story. But again, overall, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I catch you all in the next one.